How's it going, guys? So, for trailer reaction, it's called Necrophosis. I pronounce that. Uh, you may hear my fan in the background. I finally got my brand new fan. I got like one of the bigger ones. So I was using a desktop fan and a, like a little, small little AC. I tried to keep my room cool, and it was just not happening. So I got the bigger fan from that I bought off of Amazon. It works perfectly. So you may hear the background noise of that. But I'll make sure I mute my mic for when we actually do the actual reaction itself. Um, of course, you guys will see this video sometime tomorrow, like later in the afternoon, so that when I can off of work and stuff. But uh, let's check this out. <laughs> Sorry, I was waiting for my computer to stop acting like a goddamn jet engine over here. Does that confirm that Cthulhu is dead? Having his giant skeleton in the background? Because it's definitely some form of Necropolis type of city. Uh, games like these kind of remind me of two older games back in like Windows 95, Windows 98 era. Some of you weren't even born around that time to even know what those Windows versions are. <laughs> When dial-up was a thing and AOL and all that shit. You may even hear your parents talk about it. <laughs> and my generation knows what that's all about. Um, but it reminds me of the two PC games. One was called The Lighthouse and the other one was called The Mist. And it was it was like spelled like M-Y-S-T. I'm pretty sure it was spelled like that. Uh, those These type of games kind of remind me of those. I love the game The Lighthouse. It was more of like an alien puzzle version of it, where you basically were just some random guy. You got a message saying, hey, come to this place. And it was a, literally just that. It was like an island that had a small house. You had a child. There was a lighthouse who would eventually get abducted by some alien. You would go through this portal, and you would just discover this entire brand new world. Game was awesome. They have Apparently, they have the remake on Steam, and I would love to get it. Because, hmm, apologize. Windows 95 and Windows 98 games no longer work, you know, unless you can find some sort of way to actually, uh, to integrate them into, like, Windows 7 Plus. I mean, even now and then, Windows XP and Windows SP games almost never work on Windows 7 because they're just so outdated and stuff like that, so I do apologize if you hear my computer over there. Um, 
Yeah, they're, they're really big puzzle-esque type games. So if you're not a big fan of puzzle games or they're just something that just, you know, it's too complicated to figure out, would not recommend them. But if you actually like those kind of like mind-breaking ones that really puts your, you know, really puts your thought process together, you really have to figure out where to go, how to solve this puzzle. I think games like these would be like perfect for anyone who's into that type of stuff. But uh game looks pretty cool. You know, like I said, I like the whole Cthulhu background skeleton thing in there too that's pretty awesome but um i know this trailer is like a couple of months old but i had it in the back just saved there when i was ever going to do a reaction for it but apologize once again for the background noise for the fan and my computer <laughs> but like i said you guys will see this trailer sometime later um tomorrow afternoon around that time so but either way stay safe health and sanitize and uh let me know do you remember those games if you're old enough or if you even still have them around and uh let me know if you ever tried booting them up and stuff like that. I'll check those comments out. See you guys.